This has proven to be a truly effective content strategy. So effective that this company was recently valued at $1.2 billion. What's going on guys, JP here with another Biz Rich video. If you are trying to learn exactly how to do content marketing, I suggest learning from the best. So in this video, I'm going to talk about four of the best content marketing examples that you can learn from and get ideas for your content marketing strategy. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss a video. I'm always posting content on how you can grow your business and bank account. In this list of content marketing examples, I made sure to include a variety of types of content to provide more value and illustrate the range of content and content strategy. Now, let's get into it. First content marketing example is Blendtec's Will It Blend YouTube channel. This channel hosts a series of infomercial type videos that feature the Blendtec Blender and Blendtec's founder, Tom Dixon, blending an array of items ranging from glow sticks to Ford Fiestas. <laughs> Videos which have 12 million and 4.8 million views, respectively. Their most popular video, Will It Blend iPad, <laughs> has 19 million views. And if you're wondering like I was... Woo. Yes, it will blend and the channel itself has nearly 1 million followers. Pretty amazing results. I think this content marketing initiative is truly brilliant for many reasons. It's really creative. Who would have thought to advertise a blender, a boring household appliance, through a YouTube series of blending the most random shit? I certainly wouldn't have, uh, but yeah, I think the premise is great. <laughs> Also, this outlandish and off-the-wall content lends itself to virality. It is very shareable content. Definitely something to take note of and apply in your content strategy. Every time I'm talking to someone about their content, I ask them two questions. One, why would someone consume your content? Two, would they want to share your content? Both very important questions to ask yourself while defining your content marketing strategies. All right, next content marketing example is the cosmetic company Glossier. And I, I think that's how you pronounce it, Glossier, Glossier. I don't know. <laughs> uh, and this one really captures two different types of content examples because prior to the company's inception, its founder, Emily Weiss, was a blogger. She started her Into the Gloss blog in 2010 while she was a styling assistant at Vogue. Her blog gained a significant following, boasting 10 million page views a month. This allowed Emily to launch Glossier in 2014, already having an audience. And with Glossier, she focused on Instagram from the beginning. Emily actually started building an audience on Instagram prior to the brand's product launch. Glossier had 125 posts and 13,000 followers on Instagram before a single item was available for purchase. And here's the genius behind Glossier's content marketing strategy. It leverages its customers to generate massive amounts of content that promote Glossier's products by incentivizing them through giveaways and features on their page, which by the way, currently has 2.8 million followers. And I checked Glossier's tagged post section on their Instagram account, and within one hour, 22 people had tagged the company. That's 22 advertisements and personal recommendations from their customers. Keeping that rate constant would mean nearly 193,000 posts per year created solely by their customers. And everyone knows a personal recommendation is more powerful than an advertisement. This has proven to be a truly effective content strategy. So effective that this company recently received a $100 million investment from Sequoia Capital, one of the most notable venture capital firms, which valued Glossier at $1.2 billion. Wow. And that was in 2019, so this is basically like a, a five-year run from zero to one billion, or 1.2 billion, sorry. Can't miss that 200 million. <laughs> yeah, pretty crazy. All right, now on to the third content marketing example, which is the Lego movie. 
And I know I talked about this in a previous video, which was like a content marketing 101, you know, focusing on what content marketing actually is, but I had to include it here because it really is one of the best examples of great content marketing. First reason being, it was a major source of revenue for the company. Just at the box office, this movie generated nearly half a billion dollars, which equated to $229 million in profit. But Lego is in the business of selling little plastic building blocks. So what did this movie do for Lego's primary segment? Well, it increased net profits by 15% from about $962 million to $1.1 billion. And I know these numbers are different than the previous video. That's because the previous video was using data from a BBC article, which only took into account the first half of the year the movie was released and was also reporting in Danish Krone. Here, I actually converted those numbers to dollars. Uh, so sorry if there's any confusion. Thanks. <laughs> I also wanna point out that the information I provided here is only accounting for the first movie. Lego has released four full length films and is working on more. And nearly all the movies have been critically acclaimed and increased the strength of Lego's brand enough to be recognized by the consulting firm Brand Finance as the world's most powerful brand in 2017. And last but not least, the fourth content marketing example and one of the best content marketers out there, Red Bull and their expansive library of content. Red Bull has really put a lot of effort into gaining a presence or establishing a presence on YouTube and other social media platforms. And it has paid off. Just on their main channel, they have 9.5 million subscribers and over 2.2 billion views. Absolutely crazy. Especially since they have multiple YouTube channels such as Red Bull Motorsports, Red Bull Gaming, and even Red Bull Music, which has 620,000 subscribers crushing it. They are crushing it. Originally, Red Bull was focused on sporadic hit content that would get massive amounts of views. An example of this is their Last Call Mr. Paul, is it? Yeah, <laughs> Last Call Mr. Paul video, which has 135 million views. Wow. This highly produced and cinematic type video features Jason Paul free running through the Munich airport while getting chased by security. Pretty, it's, a, it's a pretty cool video, I'll be honest. But now the company has moved its content strategy towards producing a stream of content that continuously establishes a presence on various social media platforms. Red Bull has been so successful with their content marketing strategy that they actually created a separate company focusing just on this called Red Bull Media House and are actually making money directly from their content through ads and licensing. And in this video, I tried to focus on companies that weren't like directly attached to individuals. So I purposefully excluded personal brands. Obviously, there are a lot of people leveraging content to build businesses around themselves. And I'll definitely do a separate video on that topic. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you got value out of this video, please hit that like button. It helps this channel grow and I would really appreciate it. And if you made it this far in the video, congratulations on getting that knowledge up in your brain and being committed to consuming content that will help you succeed. So yeah, that is it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.